It starts here. And ends up here. It starts here. And ends up here. Steel. It is everywhere in our modern world, providing strength today and ensuring an even stronger tomorrow. And it's made throughout the United States at Nucor's steel recycling facilities. Before the modern era, steel was primarily produced in blast furnaces that use iron ore, mined from the earth, as the primary feedstock. But starting in 1969, Nucor began producing steel using electric arc furnaces to melt down scrap steel and recycle it into new steel. This new generation of steel mill was called the mini mill. No matter the process, making steel is about achieving proper chemistries, and Nucor pursued a more efficient way to achieve those chemistries by recycling the abundant scrap that was piling up in our nation's landfills. And because steel is infinitely recyclable, we can sustainably make tomorrow's products using yesterday's junk. Recycling steel using the mini mill model has allowed Nucor to become the largest steel maker in North America, recycling more than 20 million tons of scrap per year into new products, the equivalent of recycling 24 cars every minute of every day. Our unique teammate-centered culture, combined with aggressive growth and strategic acquisitions, has propelled us from a single mini mill in rural South Carolina to the forefront of American steelmaking. Our acquisition of the David J. Joseph Company, the nation's oldest and largest scrap processor, ensures that we are able to control our raw material supply. And greenfield projects like our direct reduced iron facility in Louisiana mean that we will continue to expand our product offerings and better serve our customers. Nucor now operates more than 200 facilities across North America, offering a complete line of steel and steel products. Before making an ounce of steel, our more than 23,000 teammates start every shift with a safety meeting. Our motto is safety first, and it guides everything we do from start to finish. In the mill, our teammates are focused on taking care of our customers by producing and delivering top quality steel on time, every time. Here's how we do it. Our advanced steel recycling process produces a variety of steel products, including bar, sheet, plate, and SBQ. But they all start in the same place, the scrapyard. In the scrapyard, we sort scrap for recycling. Because different types of scrap have different properties, we carefully combine our scrap so it will recycle into steel matching our customer's specifications. Depending on a customer's specific needs, we sometimes combine our scrap with direct reduced iron, or DRI. Adding DRI allows us to produce more advanced steel products, including our high strength, lightweight, and special bar quality products. And because our DRI is produced using natural gas, Nucor is making the most environmentally friendly steel on the market. But recycling scrap is only part of Nucor's environmental stewardship. Our mills have extensive environmental programs for both their steelmaking process and the local environment, all designed to ensure that our process is clean and safe. Once sorted, our cranes drop the scrap into our EAF furnaces, which are the driving force behind our steelmaking process. The EAF uses electricity to melt the scrap down to 3,000 degree Fahrenheit molten steel. This process is significantly more energy efficient than traditional steel furnaces. Once melted, the steel's chemistry is refined with various inputs before moving to the caster. At the caster, liquid steel is poured down through molds and cools into long strands as it moves downward. These strands, usually called billets, slabs, or blooms, are trimmed in preparation for rolling and are the first time our steel starts to look like a product. The next step in the steelmaking process takes place in the roll mill. Take for example a steel slab in a steel sheet mill. Prior to rolling, slabs are heated to approximately 2200 degrees Fahrenheit, a temperature at which they are malleable. Then they move on to the rolling mill stands. 
To reduce a steel slab into a final product requires pressure, a lot of it. As a slab's thickness gets reduced through our rolling mill, thousands of pounds of pressure are applied through each mill stand at speeds of up to 2,000 feet per minute. For example, a three and a half inch thick 100 foot long slab can be transformed into a quarter inch thick 1300 foot long coiled sheet in a matter of minutes. After the rolling mill, our products may be treated or finished depending on the final product. This includes pickling, galvanizing, annealing, and a variety of other treatments. Once finished, our steel products are packaged and shipped via barge, rail, and truck to customers across North America. At Nucor, our goal is to take care of our customers, take care of our teammates, and take care of the communities where we live and work. We are doing this while making the best steel in the world for the most important projects in the world. The buildings you work in, the bridges you drive across, and the car that gets you where you're going. Because as an American manufacturer, we live here too. And we know that at the end of the day, the most important thing is getting home safe to the ones you love.